Hi, I'm Ervin from The Optimizer and uh, in this video I want to show you how you can upload uh, hundreds of campaigns to your traffic source in just a few minutes by using our powerful mass campaign launcher. All right, let's get started. To access the campaign launcher, uh, you need to click on the campaign creator uh, menu here on the left and then click on create campaigns. As you can see here, we have two options, create manually and upload an Excel file. We already have uh, covered the manual creation process on another video, so make sure to check it. The manual uh, creation process is uh, uh, UI based, it's a more similar uh, process to what you see on each traffic source, uh, while the Excel file uploading process, which we're going to talk today, it's a more advanced and flexible um, uploader which allows you to do uh, basically everything when it comes to campaign uh, mass campaign launching so uh, we click on the upload an excel file it will ask us uh, about which traffic source right now the excel file is supported for tabula outbrain mgid and ref content uh, for this case we're gonna uh, we're gonna choose tabula um, next so very probably you've you've been asking yourself like uh, what would be the format of this excel file and uh, uh, i understand no worries we have thought already about it we have created a google sheets template for you which you can clone into your own uh, google space so the first thing that you need to do before before continuing is that you need to, to click on uh, on this link and clone the our google uh, sheet template that we have for taboo let's make a copy of this template all right so here's the template Basically, here uh, you have all the possible options that you can specify when creating a, a, a campaign in Tabula, plus a few useful uh, additions that uh, we added from uh, the optimizer. Each column here comes with a description uh, which uh, describes uh, what it is, if it is required, what options uh, it, it can take, etc. Some of the columns you can just click and uh, it presents you with, uh, with a selection option and uh, others you just uh, uh, need to ho uh, hold your mouse over it and it will explain how, how to use it. Uh, here at the bottom as you can see you have a few other sheets which have uh, useful information when it comes uh, to, to uh, specific uh, options that we're gonna we're gonna fill uh, during uh, this process. You have a list of countries that are supported, regions that are supported, safety segments, uh, browsers, operating system versions, time zones, etc. So make sure to use these sheets here whenever you don't know what to put in those in those fields. Um, the template also comes with a very simple single row just for illustration purposes that uh, shows you basically how a, a row uh, of this document will, will look. And let's, let's uh, go uh, over some of these, uh, some of these fields. So uh, the most important thing is the traffic source account ID in here. The traffic source account ID is the ID of the account on the optimizer where you are going to upload these campaigns. So uh, if, you, if you go back to the optimizer under traffic sources, you have all the traffic sources that you have connected to the optimizer and this, this here is the ID. So you just copy it and paste it into this document. Then you have the campaign name, a marketing objective. You can select a bunch of objectives. And I'm going to go very fast over these fields because uh, they are pretty uh, self, uh, uh, self explanatory. So uh, I don't want to waste a lot of time. Plus you have all the all necessary information on the, on the, on the tooltip in here. And plus we have some documentation that you can check on that explains each, each column uh, separately. But basically you can, you can specify start date, end date, hours, scheduling hours. You can include. Uh, you can specify a targeting option if you want to include or exclude certain uh, certain countries, regions, uh, include or exclude certain uh, platforms, operating systems, browsers, connection types like uh, uh, all or Wi-Fi only, etc. You can specify a list of sites that you want to block uh, in comma separated. For example, let's say you want to block uh, uh, you want, we want to block all these sites here. 
Um, let's continue. You can specify some bidding strategy if it is max conversion or target CPA or smart or fixed, a cost per click, a CPA goal, spending limit, daily cap, etc. All these options. You can specify a tracking code, comments, basically every uh, every setting that you see on tabula is also available here in the in the in this google sheet template now uh, the last part of the row is where you specify uh, your um, ad uh, information the target url an image url a headline and a cta a call to action button a description for the ad uh, etc so uh, right now this com this one single row will create one campaign with one ad but what if you want to create uh, uh, the same campaign with multiple ads which is uh, the, the the most normal use case all you need to do is copy this row and uh, paste it multiple times below so all the other information is the same for all rows and all you need to do is just change the uh, ad information so here for example the target url very probably would be the same but you can change it if necessary and you can change the images here and specify other images you can change uh, the headlines and uh, you can specify uh, different call to actions descriptions etc for all these ads so at this point uh, we are creating one campaign uh, with the targeting options that we saw before with one, two, three, four, five, six ads. Then, if you want to create pretty much the same uh, campaign with the same ads, but with a slightly different options, all you need to do at this point is you can copy all these rows, you can paste them below, and you can just make uh, some slight changes. Let's say, for example, that uh, the first campaign was targeting United States, this one will uh, will target Australia and let's say you want to make some other minor changes to the to the budget to the daily cap this will have a slightly a bigger daily cap let's say so on so uh, basically here you are creating another campaign with the same ads with a different targeting budget etc and you can repeat this process uh, over and over and uh, fill this document with as many uh, campaigns as you want uh, now before downloading this into an excel and, and going back to the optimizer to upload it and create these campaigns uh, i wanted to 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 spend a few seconds on these last columns in here because what you see here for example uh, there are three columns is the media manager ads is the rules and the rule groups and what you can do with these columns uh, is this uh, on the optimizer we have a feature called media manager where uh, the optimizer will collect and store all your existing ads from existing campaigns and so if you want to use any of these ads that you already have in your campaigns uh, during the creation all you need to do is uh, you can go to media manager ads and let's say that uh, we have a bunch of ads existing ads that uh, we want to use uh, with our campaign creation process and we have tagged these ads uh, with a specific tag so I'm selecting for now uh, I want to tag them uh, my my top ads let's say You can put any tag in there so i have uh i have these four ads that i want to reuse on these campaigns so all we all i need to do here is specify uh, this tag in here my top ads and what will happen here is that uh apart from what we have specified here uh as a single ads uh with images headlines etc uh, uh the the optimizer will automatically also grab these ads with this tag and also make sure to include them on, on this campaign so this campaign in particular will not have uh will not have six ads anymore but will have six ads plus all the ads that will be added from the media manager so media manager is a very uh, cool feature that you can use to to uh or 
upload your own ads, uh, check ads from uh, that have been uh, that are in use on all your, all your campaigns and organize them by tagging, etc. The other columns are about rules. And here uh, you can specify a list of rules that you want to be included in your campaigns. And this is good because uh, uh, once you specify these rules or rule groups, uh, then as soon as the campaign is approved and starts getting some traffic, uh, automatic optimization will be applied uh, uh, right away. So you don't forget, you don't forget to, to apply rules to these campaigns. So if you, if you don't want uh, if you don't want to uh, use any automation, then just leave these empty. But if you're planning to use any automation with these campaigns, then we strongly suggest to specify a list of rules or rule groups in here so that as soon as the campaigns are submitted and created, automatically these rules will be uh, applied to, to these campaigns. All right. So now we have our file. Uh, all we need to do is we need to download it into an Excel. And then we go back to the optimizer and we upload our Excel file. We click on upload campaigns. All right. So now there will be, uh, there are two things that will happen. Uh, first thing is that you'll get an email, uh, which will be a first step saying that the file was uploaded successfully, or if the file had some errors, you'll get an email that says the file, uh, was not uploaded successfully because it has, uh, some errors and you can download that file. Uh, fix the errors and re-upload it again. And uh, once we got this email and everything uh, was confirmed to be uploaded successfully, you can come back here on the queue. You can refresh the table and uh, all the campaigns that you uploaded previously will appear here and you can follow the status of creation here. So uh, the first step was to upload a file and uh, the file needs to be uh, needs to be valid and with all the options in place so that you can pass the uploading uh, checks. And then once the uploading has been done, you'll see a list of campaigns here and you can follow the progress of the uploading process here in the campaign creator queue. So as you saw, it was uh, pretty simple. Once you have that uh, campaign uploading template, then you can use it uh, every day. And all you need to do is uh, make small changes. Usually, usually from our experience, uh, media buyers, all they do is launch pretty much the same kind of campaigns every day. So it's not that you need to rebuild that file over and over again from scratch. But once you have your your one or two different uh, templates, you can work with those change uh, very few uh, things quickly and uh, upload uh, campaigns in, in mass. All right, this was all for our mass campaign launcher. Uh, thank you for.